I have tried to film this video I don't know how many times so hopefully this will be the last take um, so hey guys I um, I apologize for all this and for my voice but I have been sick and uh, I don't really wear makeup when I get sick <laughs> but um, so you'll have to deal with me being kind of a gross snotty mess <laughs> So, um, anyway, today I decided to film my eye and lip favorites. Like I said in the very beginning, I've tried recording this so many times. And it was either too long or something just would not work right. So, hopefully this is the last fill swoop. So, um, let's go ahead and get started. Um... Favorite eyeshadow palettes of 2016 were definitely my Urban Decay Naked 2 and Naked 3 palettes, especially the Naked 3. I love these kind of rosy colored neutrals. I think they're beautiful. The only thing that I would have really liked in this palette would have been a dark matte shadow, but... Um, I can definitely take this one with me and create all kinds of looks with it and don't feel like I would necessarily have to have another palette with me. It would be nice, but um, yeah, and I think the same goes with the Naked 2. I love the cool toned neutrals, but I just wish that they would put a few more matte shadows in the Naked palettes because I've over the past few years I've kind of strayed away from shimmery shadows I just like the look of matte much better um, brows so definitely a favorite of mine still the Anastasia brow powder duo in ebony I've used this for a couple of years and still love it completely but at the tail end of 2016, I discovered the e.l.f. Brow Powder Duo. Well, it's not really powder, but it's like a gel here and then the powder here. I love this one. Um, and I think once I use the Anastasia one up, I will just be using this one exclusively. Um, my brows take a little bit longer to apply with the e.l.f. one because you do the I do the gel first and then I... Uh, do the powder, but I found that my brows stay a lot longer with the e.l.f. one than with the Anastasia. So, really good stuff, and it's super cheap. For eyeliner, um, you'll f kind of find a recurring theme here, but eyeliners, eyeliners have always been kind of a problem for me. Because I have very oily eyelids and I t once I find something that I like, I tend to not stray from that. Occasionally I'll try something else, but overall I pretty much stick to what I know works. And Estee Lauder Double Wear line, it works for me incredibly well. Um, so for my eyeliner, I usually apply it in the waterline and I'll have... You know, my eyes water a little bit. It just it kind of depends on how my eyes are feeling that day. They'll water some, and I have that smudging here on the corner. But I found with Estee Lauder's line of eyeliners, it doesn't happen quite as bad. So the first one that I want to talk about is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay in Place Gel Eyeliner. And I'm really boring when it comes to liner. I just use black. I don't use color. I don't I don't even use brown. So that's what it looks like. I really hope they still sell this because I've had this one for a while and I've I kind of fell off the radar with makeup and wasn't using makeup a whole lot and I've just recently kind of delved back into that within the past few months. To apply it, I use this flat liner brush. I absolutely love this brush. 
So I'll just take it and just pat on my waterline and use it to tight line as well. And then I'll go back in with this brush and put some black shadow on it to just kind of set it and that makes my liner stay a lot better. Sounds like Blake's home. For a pencil liner, I love the Double Wear Stay in Place pencil liner. And as you can tell, it's been very well loved. So just for kind of general everyday, I use this one. Hello, dear. <laughs> and then for liquid liner, I use the Stila Stay All Day liner because I love the brush on it. It's very precise and it's a good felt tip brush. Comes off super pigmented and it stays up for several hours, even through my oily eyelids. Favorite mascara is definitely the L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black. Um, I'm not one of those that loves the false lash effect. I like for my lashes to look a little bit more natural, but I want them darkened, separated, and lengthened. And this does that for me. Um, even out of all the liners that I've used, that one is still, I mean, mascaras. Gosh, and I've tried everything from Dior to Chanel to Maybelline, and that one will always be my favorite and one that I've bought multiple tubes of. So I really highly recommend that mascara. Moving on to lips. I jumped on the liquid lip bandwagon. So the first ones that I want to talk about are the NYX lingerie. Out of all the lipsticks that I wear, I get the most questions on these. And I have them in embellishment, which is this really pretty kind of a rosy mauve color. And exotic, which is like to me, this kind of a milkshake mocha color. Absolutely gorgeous. These, um, they were very inexpensive. I bought these for a dollar off of Wish. And um, they were a dollar a piece. And um, they're just beautiful. They're wonderful for day to day. And everything like that. Then I discovered lip scents. <laughs> And I have used lip scents when I apply lip color. I've used lip scents exclusively since then. Um, so I'm up to four colors now. Um, I have Caramel Latte, which is this really nice nude color that has a little bit of sparkle to it. Mulled Wine, which is this really pretty berry wineish color. Fly Girl is my favorite. It's this beautiful red. And then my first one was Lexi Berry, which is this one. And it's got some shimmer to it. If you've never seen or heard of Lip Sense, go watch some videos on it. This stuff is phenomenal. I absolutely love it and can't wait to get some more. <laughs> so that was my 2016 I Am Lip Favorites of uh, the year, obviously. So thank you for watching this. And again, I apologize for my sickly self, but I hope you enjoyed this and I will talk to you guys later. Bye everybody. Be sure to like this video and subscribe for future videos as well. So thank you. Bye guys.